Hey everyone, Brian and Jeff with WorkshopAddict.com and we are going to go over the new Milwaukee 46 inch high capacity steel storage chest and cabinet. This is model number 48-22-8546 and this unit has an MSRP of $998 but is currently on a price reduction at Home Depot and selling for $798. It's just a hundred over their old model. Pretty awesome. So when you buy this, this is going to come in two large units. If it's shipped to you, it'll come on a pallet. The total weight is going to be around 525 pounds. And one of the large boxes that holds the bottom cabinet was labeled at 339 pounds. So it was quite heavy. Which that might seem like a lot of weight to move around by yourself. It was actually pretty simple with two guys to uncrate, put it together. Yeah, it's, the boxes are full of styrofoam and cardboard on the inside. I think really that's half of your weight is all the cardboard they put on. <laughs> there was quite a bit. We had a lot to take to the dump afterwards, I'll tell you. Now, putting these together, make sure that you take everything apart while they're sitting up correctly. All your hardware, all your casters, everything is inside the drawers. So you're going to want to open those drawers while you're sitting them on the ground. Flip up the bottom end of the cabinet and you can install your casters. Now while you're installing the casters at that point, it's a good time to grease them if you'd like. Make sure you think about where that handle's at. Right. Before you put your swivel casters on, make sure which end you want your handle to be on. Then from there, just it's simple. Everything is just screw things together, screw your bumpers on the front and back. There are different ones, but it's all very a simple very, very simple assembly. Anybody looking at this toolbox doesn't necessarily have to go to the instructions to put it together. Or nope. they shouldn't have to. It's really simple. The hardest part was where do you put the Milwaukee bottle opener, right? <laughs> <laughs> we decided to put it on the end with the handle and the paper towel rack. So other than that, this is a pretty simple unit to go. It has some great upgrades from their other unit, but we're going to jump into the features. All the drawers are equipped with a soft close slide. Makes it real nice for opening and closing. The small drawers are rated at 100 pounds, and the two lower drawers have two slides on them, so they're rated at 200 pounds apiece. Located on the inside of the upper chest and the outside of the lower chest are power strips that have six outlets on them. There is a space between the one closest to the outside that's meant for a power adapter, and you also have two USB ports on each. These items are included with the chest. You get a towel rack, bottle opener, and a nice folding tray. The handle on this is a lot heavier than the previous model, and all of this can be mounted either end. Also included are two utility hooks in a tool storage tray that we decided not to use. One of the main reasons that they call this unit high capacity is because of its 22 inch depth. The drawers are about 19 and 3 quarter inches deep and if you want to know more about drawer sizes, check out our description, we'll have them all down there. But Milwaukee also optimized this so you could hold a little bit more of your hand tools rather than all power tools when you look at it and we'll compare it to the 46 inch main version in a little bit. But you still have the same computer set or cover over this bottom drawer so you can put a computer there and they made longer skinnier drawers so if you want to put wrenches or hand tools that are a bit longer in them and you have two of the full length drawers versus one in the other model exactly i i really like the way they put this together it gives you a lot more options for hand tools rather than power tools but i think that's what most of us have a lot more of if you're looking at a mechanics tool set this is going to fit most people that are going to have the hand tools in the garage working on automobiles a little bit more than the other one. And the, the extra depth in it gives you more working space here. It adds to the stability of the toolbox. It's just all around gives you a little more space. In my case, the catch-all just got bigger. Yeah. You're... I, I have a small organizational <laughs> problem when it comes to horizontal spaces. So basically when you're looking at this unit and comparing it to other ones, look at the depth. Look at your drawer width. Are there any of the tool holders that you're looking at or your specific tools going to need that kind of depth? In our case, we found that depth very useful for wrenches in a lot of different longer items, torque wrenches. They all fit in here a lot better. What you will lose a little bit on the bottom is some of the deeper drawers, but they do have some organizational features that will come in them just like the other model. And at the same point, these deep, 
long or allows drawers. you to put in a lot longer tool in like we have right here. Yeah, we have not the big get whole that in most in toolboxes. No. And, and this stuff just really works out well. So for the price for the hundred dollars or even two hundred dollars to upgrade, I would go with a deeper chest. Yeah. Your other option from here is possibly to hop over to that 56 inch Husky that's sitting back there. That's priced pretty close to this one. Has a lot more room, but a lot smaller drawers right. and yeah. not maybe as much quality. When you look inside this unit, it's powder coated front to back. It's Build very, quality is pretty very good. well constructed. So when you roll these two toolboxes up next to each other, you start to see the depth difference, a little bit of difference in the height from the higher casters, but the drawer differences are substantial. But actually looking at them, if you've never seen the two next to each other, they basically mimic each other with some slight subtleties that just makes this one a little bit bigger. Now, I used to keep all my batteries in this top drawer, and the Milwaukee batteries will not fit in that top drawer. They're just off by about an eighth of an inch. And here was where all my power tools went. It's a little bit deeper drawer, but you have your secondary top drawer over there. Still works, all the power tools easily fit in that drawer. What I started to do was move everything over. What better way to learn a toolbox and learn what you want than to move your tools into it. And I found that I missed this drawer, the secondary drawer that's kind of half height. Uh, I really kind of would like to see that over there, but at the same point, I really liked the smaller drawers also. So and that's, give and take, nothing's perfect. That's one person's use of this box. Everybody's gonna be a little bit different, but comparing the two, like you said earlier, for the hundred or two hundred dollar difference, there's no I doubt. Guess pick your drawers. There's no doubt. This is this is definitely the way to go. You know the guards. I, I, in some ways, I like the black a little bit better for the look, but it's, in other ways, I like to see the silver. Two totally different looks, but both excellent boxes. So if you're out looking for these toolboxes or you want to see them, stop into the Home Depot. They've got them there. We'll put some links in the description to them so you can check them out online. We appreciate your time, guys. Hope this helps you if you're looking for a new toolbox. Have a great day.